This message comes from Legal Talk sponsor, Choice New York Management. There are a handful of budget items your building can really control, and a few with payment options. Choice New York Risk Management delivers an insurance financing solution that can help balance out your cash flow. At Choice New York, your home is our priority. Visit choicenewyork.com for more info. Welcome to Legal Talk, a conversation about governance issues that New York's co-op and condo boards are facing right now. I'm Bill Morris with Habitat, the New York City magazine for co-op and condo board directors and their professionals. And with me today is Stuart Wurzel, principal at the law firm of Tane Waterman and Wurzel. Stuart, you know a lot about lawyers' fees and attorneys' fees because that's what you live on. But for co-op and condo boards, they can get onerous. And maybe going to court is not always the best course of action when there's a dispute within a co-op or a condo. What is your general thought on courts and attorney's fees? There's certainly a risk and expense that every board has to assess. The right to recover attorney's fees in many, many circumstances is far from clear. We always advise our boards that if you're going to go to court, don't base it on whether you're going to recover legal fees or not. Because even if you're entitled, there's a lot of questions. And the fight over legal fees often can overtake what the underlying dispute is because it's sometimes a much bigger number. In other words, I think I'm hearing you say that boards should pick their fights wisely. 100%, because even where there is the right to recover legal fees under a contract, the American rule for legal fees is every party bears their own costs and expenses of litigation, including attorney's fees unless there is a statute which allows it. In a co-op, what does the proprietary we say? And in a condo, what could the buyer say? Those are the agreements which will authorize the recovery of legal fees under certain circumstances. Can you give us a real-world example where you've seen that happen? There was a case just a few months ago called 207 East 120th Street Condominium versus Dugan. It was a case where the unit owner was using the unit for Airbnb purposes, which was illegal. The board brought an injunction action against him to stop the conduct. The board won the injunction, and then they brought um, a motion to try to recover their legal fees. And the court, going through the documents, said the documents do not provide for recovery of attorney's fees in a non-monetary default situation, meaning if you're not recovering common charges, you can't get legal fees. The condominium won. Uh, They got the conduct stopped, and they were still out about $37,000 in legal fees because the bylaws did not provide for recovery. That's a pretty big number. We've established that you need to pick your fights. What are other options that boards have to avoid going to court? Is there any way for them to solve problems without getting the lawyer involved? There's the you can try approach. You can have management or the board approach the shareholder, the unit owner, and try to have a discussion and let them know that if we can't work things out, we're going to have to go to court. You're living in a very small community, whatever the size of your building is, and guess who's bearing the cost of everything? It's all of the shareholders, all of the unit owners. There is one more important distinction on legal fees between condominiums and co-ops that I want to point out. When a co-op, you have to be a little bit more careful because if you are not the prevailing party, not only are you risking your own fees, but you're risking having to pay the fees of the shareholder who did not successfully sue. So when the co-ops are making a decision to sue, they need to be careful because they could be looking at double legal fees. And those amount of monies in some of these fights far exceeds the underlying claim. The lesson to take away is check your documents. Before you do anything, know going into the fight what the rules of the game are and what your chances are. Okay. Well, Stuart Wurzel, when an attorney tells me to beware of attorney's fees, I'm going to listen. Thank you so much for that enlightening chat. 